me da aquí me triste ay ay me here's the thing I know my books look like so high up today I don't know if it's just my imagination or is it real but like they look up in my throat and that's because I am wearing a new bra I mean I bought this bra like two years ago but I just put it in today and man I feel like in my early 20s when my books were up here doing something for me but I mean it's feeling weird really feeling weird but mm, we'll roll with it right. today hello everyone and welcome uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Cosmina and in today's video as you can see right here we're gonna talk about project pan yes that is true your girl is doing project pan this year 2021 it's my very first one uh, I'm not gonna do all the rules like other people doing I'm gonna start my own thing and I'm gonna try to see how much I can use up so here are the rules if you want to call it that way what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put uh, an item or two items from each category and I'm gonna use them up all the way until February the first one we're gonna do it all the way until February beginning of February and I just kind of want to see how much I can use up how much I cannot and then when we get to beginning of February we're gonna decide if we're gonna roll things out or if we're gonna keep stuff in and stuff like that and I want to use up as much as I can from my um, collection that's why I just don't want to do necessarily like oh, I'm, I have to pen this eyeshadow or this eyeshadow or this thing or that thing no for me it's like I'm gonna use it up as much as I can and if I use if I use it as much to hit pan that is amazing but if I don't that's fine I it's my makeup and my money I do whatever the fuck I want with it so I don't care what other people think how this thing is supposed to be done I'm gonna do it my way so now let me show you what I got we're gonna put it on my face too it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video so grab a snack or watch it at 1.25 1.5 However you want to do it so let's get into it so for primers I have two I decided to go with this one from elf that has like pretty big um, pan in it already or this one from VDL which is very close to finish up I only have maybe one time in here which we're gonna use it today if I can manage to pull anything out of there or I would have to open it up so I think I might have to do that yeah let's open her up okay so this one I actually did enjoy a lot the Vivia Lumi Layer Primer um I bought it I think like maybe two years ago I like this one because it gives it like a really nice shine to the face and it looks super natural as well but also kind of makes my um, skin color like the same the same color everywhere I'm sorry it's a little early I woke up early today because I uh, I really wanted the extra large mystery box from uh, Beautylish but unfortunately I wasn't able to that was that was a that was a lot of there were a lot of problems with uh with Beautylish site this morning and I think a lot of people were like, angry about it but you know what I was able to get the $75 one and I'm still I'm still glad I got that one so if you're interested about that one don't forget to subscribe and I will definitely upload it the minute it comes Okay, so like I was saying, I like the fact that it kind of gives my skin a natural glow, but also kind of make it the same skin. It kind of takes away from the redness that I have on my skin. The powder primer, this is how much I have in it. 
the Sapphire foundation. I have these two right here. It's the CC Perfecting Foundation. This one I usually use it as a mixer from Makeup Revolution. And I have still have quite a lot in it. And then I have this one from Koki, this foundation, um, Skin Perfect HD. And I do have almost full because I only use this like two or three times and that's it. And I do want to use it up. I'm going to apply this one real quick. I'm going to combine the two of them. Right, so this is how it looks like it's not full coverage it's definitely a medium coverage uh, the combination of the two and that's okay I'm trying to go a little bit more to medium coverage this year hopefully everything is gonna start looking a little bit better but um, I mean hopefully I'm gonna get used to the way it's looking because I don't think it looks bad I just think that I am so used to having full coverage sometimes it's so hard to when I see stuff showing up through my skin all right so for uh, concealers I decided to go with two of them I have this one from KKW which only has a very little on the bottom I mostly use this thing up and I'm probably gonna finish this up in the next few weeks and then uh, I have this camo concealer as you can see this is how much I have in it. I have a lot in it. I don't like this uh, concealer that much. This is the hydrating one. Um, but I'm gonna try to combine these two and hopefully um, I'm gonna like it. I'm just gonna do a boop here, one here. And then I'm gonna go with KKW for the rest. And I'm also uh, gonna do maybe a few patches on my face like around here like where I need to cover a few more things now four powders I decided to go with three I <laughs> know that's a lot but I do use a lot of powder um, I decided to go with this Derma Blend, which is, as you can see, half over there. Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. Uh, also, I decided to go with this one from Fit Me from uh, Maybelline, one in light medium. And I do, as you can see, hopefully you can see, there's about a mm, quarter left in there. And then I decided to go with this one from Makeup Forever. This is actually a foundation, but I uh, use it as a setting powder, and I don't use this that much, and uh, I really need to start using it a little bit more, so I put this one in this project as well. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with this one right here from Makeup Forever. There we go. And then for my entire face, I'm gonna go in with Derma Blend. Now for blushes, I decided to go with Butter Blush from Physicians Formula and also this tiny little uh, lollipop that I don't remember where it's from. It doesn't have anything on it to tell me where it's from. I actually received this one in um, subscription box from uh, no make no life and this one is more like a cream brush but I'm gonna apply it on top of powder because it doesn't have problems with that so I'm just gonna get in here and just kind of get a little bit like that I do want to use this up um, I had this one for quite a while so it definitely needs to uh, be used up for sure and for my uh, lips I do want to use these uh, lip balms on my lips real soon hopefully this one it is from Burst Bees and this is how much I have left in it I do like this one this is in red raspberry 
and I also have another little flowery thing again from No Make No Life this is how much product I have in it there's not a lot of product but I do want to use it up so I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips right now it has a little bit of a color too let's add a little bit of this butter blur brush butter blush too I really like this color it's more of a darker one it looks a little bit more um what is it more tan i know it looks like a lot of blush right now but we have not bronzed yet so there go now for bronzer i am gonna go with two i'm gonna go with this ulta beauty matte bronzer that i i am trying very hard to hit pan in and then I'm gonna try to pan this one from Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer and I have it in a mini as well. So hopefully it's gonna be possible. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the matte one first. And now I'm gonna go with the butter bronzer too on top of that. This one has more of a warm uh, look to it and that's why I think the combination of the two it's definitely gonna look uh, good together because it's the other one is a little bit more like a contour and this one is a little bit more warm bronzy like all right so for my highlighter I decided to go with this Mary Lou Manizer highlighter that I only used maybe once and uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to pan this I don't think it's gonna happen but you know I definitely want to use it up so uh, we're gonna go with this one for sure hopefully I'm gonna get some usage out of my highlighters that's the main goal for me it's just kind of get more usage of the items that i do have i want to hit some pans and things that i have never hit pan before such as highlighters i have never done such a thing um and also maybe use have some pan in an eyeshadow palette never had pinned an eyeshadow palette so that would be freaking amazing you know what I mean um, all right so next I'm just gonna go and do my brows off camera I don't have anything for brows because my brows are a little bit particular and to be honest with you I usually just go with some eyeshadow uh, in there or some other things that I usually just like to change them up so I'm not gonna go for any products for eyebrows all right so eyebrows are done i'm gonna talk real quick about what i want to use up for my eyes area okay so for eyeliner i definitely want to use this up i only have a few more a little bit in here this is my physician's formula sexy booster eyeliner i had this for about a year and a half and I really need to use this up I really love it but I don't always wear a uh, wing eyeliner and uh, definitely need to use this up and for mascaras I have three minis um, I usually do wear a lot of mascara I have a lot of mascaras open and I definitely need to use these as much as I can I have this one from Milani highly rated uh, the ABH one lash brag and Marc Jacobs one um, in velvet noir what we're gonna do for these ones I'm gonna tell you usage how many times I've used them I'm not gonna I don't have a scale to see how much they have in them and things like that but I'm gonna tell you how many usage I achieved from them another eyeliner that I have here is this one from Essence this is a long lasting eye pencil in black fever and i do have a lot in it this is how much i have in it i don't expect to finish this but i'm expecting to 
get as many usage out of it as I possibly can. And for my eyeshadow palette, oh wait, I have a, one more thing, few more things so before I show you my eyeshadow palette. Um, I have this one which is Luscious Angel Eyes, an eyeshadow primer base. Definitely need to use this. I had it for a long time in my collection. I don't usually use uh, eyeshadow base, but definitely gonna try to use this one as well. And this one is in nude, and I do have a lot in it. I think this is kind of like, uh, from what I can see, there's like indentation around here. So hopefully we'll see how much um, I can use this one. More mostly. This project pen is going to be more about usage and not necessarily concentrating on pans per se. And this one, it is from Stella. This is a, a shimmering glow liquid eyeshadow and I have mine in La Dolce. And I, I only used this like two, two times and I had it for over a year now definitely need to use it a little bit more and then for eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go with this one from iconic London uh, let me add let me do this real quick and then I'm gonna show you what look I will come up with and uh, how it looks inside right, so the base is on here's how this eyeshadow looks like eyeshadow palette looks like this is an amazing eyeshadow palette it's like gorgeous nude everyday eyeshadow palette that's why I chose this one I don't have any pans I only used a few shades from here a bunch of times but that is it I I don't I don't have much going on on this one and I definitely want to because this is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I just don't get to go in it because I have so many others. I'm going to go with In The Nude right here. And I'm just going to set my base with this. Alright, so next I'm going to go in with Top To Top right here. And I'm just going to add this right in. Right over there. And then I... Go so with Peach and Dreams. And I'm going to put this in the end portion. And then for the shimmer, I'm thinking to go in with this one, which is called Closing Party. And I'm just going to go with my finger. So I'm going to go back in top to top. And I'm gonna take this to blend. For my under eye, um, I'm gonna go again with top to top and just kind of add a little bit of that. Okay, and I'm gonna go off camera to add a little bit of liner, mascara, and then I'm coming back for lips. I added all three of my mascara on top and on the bottom I added the I only added the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara. I also added just a little bit of that um, black eyeliner in my waterline. It looks very natural. I love this absolutely love this eye shadow look because it is very natural and it's something that I do wear on everyday basis. This is what my makeup does look most of the times. Alright, so now let's do the last thing, lips. And for lips, I decided to go with two things that 
I don't know how much people are gonna enjoy seeing these, but I do. And next is gonna be for lip liners. I'm gonna go with uh, KKW Beauty, and I'm gonna go with um, New Two. This is actually my favorite lip liner. Um, I absolutely love this one. I want to use it as much as I can. I don't care that much um, how um, how much I'm gonna use it up. What I care is how many uses I get out of this. And also for my lipstick, I'm gonna go with Jaclyn Hill and Independent. I had this for a while. Like I said before, I never had problems with them. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna go with this one today and the lip liner. So here's the lip liner and now let's add lipstick which is kind of very close to the lip liner color. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is how much I have in this. And I'm definitely gonna try to use it up. Okay, so uh, for a spray, facial spray, I decided to go with this one from Morphe. I think this is the one that I have the oldest in my collection. I think so. Um, and this is a luminous setting spray. And this is how my makeup looks like with the products that I'm trying to use in this project pen. Do you like, do you guys like this? Do you have some uh, makeup products that you want to add to your project pen and do them with me? If you want to, please do so. I would love to do that. I would love to see your comments down below with things that you want to use up and what you used up when we're doing our, when we're coming back in February over here to talk about this product. I'm really excited about this. This is my very first year. I have my own rules. I have my own stuff because uh, this is my makeup collection and I definitely want to start getting more use out of it and starting taking, uh, you know, uh, like realizing how much products I do buy and how much I should start using them. So this is it. This is how everything looks like. This is all I have for this project pen. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait for 2021 to take us to really nice, beautiful, to bring us really nice, beautiful things. And I will see you all next time. Bye.